Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday. It is May 13th, and we celebrate today an optional memorial um, of Our Lady of Fatima, recounting uh, Mary's apparition to the three children in, in Fatima, Portugal. So friends, uh, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. <coughs> Excuse me. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Praise my soul, the King of heaven, to his feet your tribute bring. Ransom healed, restored, forgiven, evermore his praises sing. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the everlasting King. Praise him for his grace and favor, to his children in distress. Praise him still the same as ever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Alleluia, alleluia, glorious in his faithfulness. Lord, in your love, give me life. Alleluia. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Save us by the power of your hand, Father, for our enemies have ignored your words. May the fire of your word consume our sins, and its brightness illumine our hearts. Lord, in your love, give me life. Alleluia. <coughs> Those who were victorious sang the hymn of Moses, the servant of God, and the hymn of the Lamb. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him, the God of my Father, I extol him. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The floodwaters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword, and my hand shall despoil them. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sank in the mighty waters. 
Who is like to you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like to you, magnificent in holiness? O terrible in renown, worker of wonders, when you stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your mercy you led the people you redeemed. In your strength you guided them to your holy dwelling. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Those who were victorious sang the hymn of Moses, the servant of God, and the hymn of the Lamb. Alleluia. <clears throat> Strong and steadfast is his love for us. Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Father, may all nations and peoples praise you. May Jesus, who is called faithful and true, and who lives with you eternally, possess our hearts forever. Strong and steadfast is his love for us. Alleluia. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. None of us lives as his own master, and none of us dies as his own master. While we live, we are responsible to the Lord, and when we die, we die as his servants. Both in life and death, we are the Lord's. That is why Christ died and came to life again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> the Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in, excuse me, the Lord has risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ died and rose from the dead, that he might be the Lord of the living and the dead. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ died and rose from the dead, that he might be the Lord of the living and the dead. Alleluia. <clears throat> Christ is the bread of life. He will raise up on the last day all who share the table of his word and his body. In our joy, let us pray. Lord, give us peace and joy. Son of God, you were raised from the dead. You were raised from the dead to lead us into life. Bless and sanctify all the children of your Father. Lord, give us peace and joy. You give peace and joy to all who believe in you. Grant that we may walk as children of the light, rejoicing in your victory. 
Lord, give us peace and joy. Build up the faith of your pilgrim church on earth, that it may bear witness to your resurrection before the whole world. Lord, give us peace and joy. You suffered and so entered into the glory of the Father. Change the tears of the sorrowful into joy. Lord, give us peace and joy. And for what else shall we pray for this morning? As we call to mind our own prayers, our own intentions, as we remember all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, we lift up our voices praying those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us, and together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Loving Father, through our rebirth in baptism, you give us your life and promise immortality. By your unceasing care, guide our steps toward the life of glory. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to, to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is, what a gift, what a treasure it is for us to join together this morning and each morning praying this prayer of the church, praying with the church, through the church, on behalf of the church and for all of her members. And how good it is, too, that you and I are able to be together, not just in the morning, but throughout the day, this little group of prayer warriors supporting each other throughout the day so that whatever we face, none of us faces it alone. First and foremost, because the Lord is with you, the Lord is near, and then we have one another praying with, praying for each other throughout the day. So friends, on this Saturday, uh, as we commemorate and remember Our Lady of Fatima, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, to be healthy today, to be um, happy today, healthy, but to remember to be holy today, uh, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.